This week we were at Freedom Motorsports and uh, all the Yamaha riders from the different teams were there along with Chris Aldridge, Scott Champion, and uh, John Ames. The crowd this week was huge. I mean, we're looking at over probably 600 or more people that showed up at this event. And uh, it, was a, it was a big event. Uh, 15 minutes in, the line hadn't got any shorter. And we had went through almost, uh, almost 600 signers this weekend alone. The crowd was great. The fans were great. Uh, it was good to see all the smiling faces of the kids. And, and, and really, you know, let, let the riders have a chance to interact with the fans as much as they possibly can. The riders are contracted to stay from 6 o'clock till 7 o'clock. And when they, after, after that time, it's up to the rider whether or not they want to stay or not. And both Chris Aldridge and Aaron Plessinger, they knew that the line was not going to be done by 7 o'clock. And they both decided to stay. And they stayed all the way down until the very last person. And you know that makes us that makes us proud as a as a team and as a brand. Uh, it's great to see riders that have the, the, the dedication to their fans. What do you like about Texas mostly? What's not to like about Texas? I mean, okay, now I'm going to be real honest with you guys. And see, I grew up a 49er fan, so I like kind of get hives and stuff coming in the home with the Cowboys and everything, right? Oh, man, you just know you still winning. But, 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 <laughs> but, but, I got to say, and I tell people all the time, this is without a doubt the finest stadium in the country. Yeah. It is absolutely spectacular. And I just, every time I'm coming to this venue, even though it's the Cowboys, <laughs> I really look forward to it because they've done it right here. Absolutely. Yeah, every, Uh, first impressions of the Dallas track here in Arlington Stadium, ATT Stadium. Uh, actually looks really good. We don't really get this kind of dirt on the West Coast very often, so uh, has, uh, it's not muddy, which is kind of pretty cool for the first round uh, this year. And uh, Yeah, the whoops are pretty big. Everything section is long, but uh, yeah, it looks like a good track. It's going to be fun. I'd rather go with like that. Okay. The drift $50,000 event last week. I have exotics. Hey, I'm John from uh, Evans Cooling, and I'm down here in Dallas, Texas at the Supercross with the Barn Pros Racing Team. And these guys, they run our waterless coolant. They love it. They never have to check the, the fluid. Coolant's always there, it doesn't boil out. They can have a mud race or something, no big deal. And uh, you know, it's the sort of thing that you guys need to hear about so you can put it in your bikes. It keeps you from overheating, you're not gonna boil over. We're distributed out of the Tucker Rocky catalog as well as a number of other smaller distributors. And uh, you can find it online. We'd really be happy if you walk into your local bike shop and ask them for it, because a lot of those guys haven't heard of it either. And they really learn things from their customers. Qualifying was all right. I, um, I think I qualified 21st. Just kind of struggled with a few bike setups and um, the way I was feeling on the bike. You know, after when we last week really being the second day on the bike, and you get to ride this week at all. And uh, this is really only the third day back in about 30 days. So um, struggled a little bit, but 21st isn't terrible, I guess. Um, just getting ready for the night show.
week before this was just a normal week. I rode Tuesday, everything was fine. Wednesday, a little bit of rain, made the track a little bit slick on the, the practice track. Um, I cased a jump, uh, suffered a hand injury. Uh, basically, I wasn't able to, to compete today. I, uh, I tried to muscle through the pain, but I was, uh, didn't want to risk uh, more injury, so we did the smart thing and uh, called it. We're not sure what is wrong with my hand. Um, no bones are broken from what we can see. All I know is it hurts, um, but I still did qualifying. I still wanted to do qualifying just to say that I, I gave it a shot. I think I qualified 30th or so. Got into the night show, but I couldn't hold on for more than two or three laps. Outside. I think I was like 18th gate pick and um, got a decent start, was in third, made a few quick passes, got up to the front, pulled out a little lead over my teammate Scott Champion and um, made the first main of the year. Um, and as everybody knows, I got hurt so I didn't race for a lot of it. And, um, and then in the main, uh, I didn't get the greatest jump, but I uh, snuck around the inside. I'd have to say I was probably top 10, maybe getting close to fit, top 5 and um, just made a mistake in the right hander and a guy stopped in the rut and I hit him and fell over. And um, it was an unfortunate deal, and I was way back in last, and just kind of kept plugging away. You know, first race back, a lot of, a lot of nerves, and uh, just riding tight. So uh, I ended up 18th or so. But uh, yeah, all in all, at the end of the day, it was all right, and uh, I'll take it. And we'll move on to uh, Seattle in about nine weeks. Yeah. Um, so me and a buddy are kind of teaming up and doing a uh, a privateer journey. Basically, we're gonna hit. Minneapolis, Atlanta, Georgia, and Daytona, Florida. So, gonna get that uh, get that dialed in this week and jump on a 450 and kind of just uh, learn learn some things and keep racing during the break. So I'm looking forward to that. Keep racing, riding, and uh, my family lives out here in Texas, so use that as a home base. And yeah, just just keep going and, and have fun with it. If the LCQ was the main event, we killed it. <laughs> we went one and two. That was great. I was like, let's just stop now. We won something. We're out front. Let's take it. And I think that was probably a, I don't know if it helped, but I was hoping it'd be a big confidence booster for Aldridge because he's had a lot of bad luck lately and uh, winning the LCQ, even though it was an LCQ, it still feels good to get out front and, you know, get that checkered flag and kind of get that feeling going again. So, well, I mean, it's, it's little victories, you know, you get, we had we've had a lot of adversity this season, and, and you know this obviously the season hasn't gone the way we wanted it to. And but you got to look for the little victories, and that's that's big. The biggest thing is we you know Aldridge finally got the got a good start, and he won a moto and got up on the box. And you know even though it was LCQ, it's that little victory that just kind of hopefully will start propelling him farther as we go along. So main event was uh, uh, guys got champ got a kind of a pinch down the outside. Obviously we coming through the LCQ, we had to start on the far outside. Uh, Bad gate pick, short start. Yeah, real short really start. Really short start. Aldridge made a great move. Uh, you can see it on TV, I'm sure, but he made a great move to the inside, got himself up into about mid-pack, maybe seventh, eighth place, and then he ran into the back of one another rider and went down. And, and it was only on this third corner, so he really hadn't got his momentum going, got up in dead last, and basically had to start working his way towards 
towards the front the best he could. Uh, where Scott started out probably, I think he started out 15th-ish, and then kind of just stayed in 15th and then stick faded back a little bit. And I think we ended up finishing 17th and 18th in the main tonight. So no, clearly not what we wanted. No, clearly not, not what we wanted. But um, you know, winning the LCQ was good, and then the main event was the main event. We just it didn't play out like we wanted. We didn't have any bike issues or anything. No. there was nothing wrong with the bikes. Everything, all the bikes were good. It was just rider. We had bad gate picks, and they had to uh, work hard. And Champ seemed to fade a little bit. And Aldridge, uh, after he got taken out in that corner, the third corner, then it was kind of game over for him too. It was hard to catch up. Hey guys, wanted to talk a little bit about Dirt Bets. Uh, Dirt Bets is uh, the newest sponsor. They're not only are they sponsoring the video series that we're doing today, or that you're watching today, but they're also sponsoring the entire Barn Pros Home Depot Yamaha team. Uh, you know, one of the things about fantasy football, it's huge in the United States and uh, around the world. Now we got fantasy motocross where you can actually earn what the pros earn. $120,000 in uh, cash prizes at the end of every uh, event. Make sure you head over to dirtbets.com, check them out. I know that everybody here has probably got money on uh, our team to win, but if not, check out Dirt Bets, place your bet, and make some money. Thanks, guys.